Right then, today is going to be an interesting one. Um, I've started getting emails from people saying, do you want to try our products? And up until now, they've been pretty much just like naff and just like stuff I don't want. But when I got an email from a company called Engui saying that they wanted to send me an e-bike, originally I was like, no. But then I was like, yes. If you're new to this channel, from this video, uh, to let you know, we don't do e-bikes or 20 inch wheels very often. I mean, we'll only once. Certainly don't do fat bikes. Um, so this is a little bit different from our normal content. Usually we restore old rock hoppers and other retro mountain bikes that no one really wants to ride anymore. But we make them want to ride them. Um, so if you are into that kind of content, uh, feel free to subscribe, hit the button below, and um, if not, enjoy this video as you're here now anyway. They were like, hey, we really like your videos, would you like to review one of our bikes? And I was like, yeah, alright. And then they were like, cool, give me your address. And I was like, well I'm not going to tell you my address. And then they were like, cool, we're going to send it to you. And then a week later, the biggest box I've ever received to my front door arrived. It was humongous. And it weighed a flipping ton. But anyway, this is going to be a two-parter. This part is going to be kind of like a bit of an unboxing, but I've built it up. That's kind of what we do around here anyway, we build bikes. Um, I'll talk a bit about that. Take it for a bit of a spin. Um, and then I'm going to do another video probably in a few days time so make sure you're subscribed uh, and for my people that already are subscribed that'll be here soon and um, that'll be more about the kind of review the kind of talking about like what I liked about it what I don't like about it um, but uh, yeah this is weird for me I feel like normally it's like let's let's get a rusty old bike and make it not rusty anymore this is like here here's a crazy bike do you want to play on it and I'm like yeah right so uh Let's look in this big box. So this, oh, hang on. So this is the Engway EP2 Pro. So it arrived at the door like this, upside down, and the seat post was sticking out the top, or the seat tube. So luckily there was lots of pad inside and it seemed to be okay. Have I mentioned it's heavy yet? But yeah, it seemed to be packed pretty well. Everything was pretty well packed, but there was a lot of stuff rattling around the bottom, including this bolt here, which I can only assume was supposed to be between the fork to stop it being squished. Um, so maybe it's squished, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, lots of just bits, and like the charger wasn't in the box. That's a packet of something. That's the stem. Yeah, lots of just stuff rattling around the bottom, including this bolt, which looks important. Looks like a wheel bolt, so maybe it's for a wheel. We'll find out. So I started unwrapping everything. There was about a thousand zip ties, I'd say, attaching everything together. And um, everything seemed to be in good nick. It also comes with all the tools you'd need, um, which I thought was really impressive. Um, but on closer inspection, um, I, the best way to describe these tools kind of similar to the ones you get in crackers at Christmas um, so we won't use those the missing bolt it was for the wheel it's for the front wheel and then when I put the uh, wheel on it the fork wasn't bent or smashed in so it seemed all right I watched a lot of videos on this bike on the build-up to making this video and I never saw a single person use grease so uh, we're using the grease I pretty much only put it on the stem though. Everything else is pretty much attached. I, actually, that is a good point to mention. Um, this bike is pretty much completely built. There was only the front wheel, the actual handlebars, and then some fiddling around with accessories, which we'll get onto in a minute. 
Um, the actual stem is one of those crazy like folding ones. The handlebars were a little bit fiddly to kind of get straight and kind of get the bolts. Um, I didn't think of this until afterwards, but the actual computer bit, you could just take that off and then it'd be easy to do. Um, so don't be me, take it off first and then tighten it up. It'd be much easier. The mud guards were a little bit fiddly. Um, they're really nice mud guards, they're metal, so that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, mud guards are generally fiddly, so I'm not gonna hold that against them. The light itself has the longest cable ever ever thought of in ever. And the cabling probably needs a little bit of fiddling around, but um, essentially I just stuffed it up the, the steerer and um, it actually looks quite neat like that. It's okay. But yeah, the cabling needs a little bit sorting out, so maybe we'll do that in a future video. In every review I've seen of this bike so far, everybody has troubles with the racks. Um, in my experience, racks are a pain in the butt anyway. They, they never fit directly on, you have to fiddle with them. Um, this one is exactly how I expected a rack to be, so nothing against them, I think it's fine. And it's a nice big chunky one as well, which I quite like, so there'll be lots of room to put stuff on it. The rear light, the, the rear light, is the cable management here is just, it's not, it's not okay. It just doesn't make sense. The bit that is on the actual light itself is like for hanging a number plate apparently. I don't really know, I don't need that. Um, but there's missing, the, it was missing the bolt. So I had, to, luckily I have the bolt, so that's fine. Um, but because of the cable so tight, the way it's been kind of uh, put through, like it just doesn't, like that's, that's insane. That's gonna catch on things and just break and just like be knackered in no time. So I took matters into my own hands. So I just snipped all the zip ties off and then re-threaded it across the top instead. Um, this actually left it with a load of slack on it, which I much prefer. Um, the actual bolt uh, or nuts uh, or the bolt, yeah, and the bolt on these are about a mile long. I probably would have cut them if I could be bothered, but I couldn't be bothered. Um, so it took a while to get it back on. Um, but now the cable is way looser. I can put it across the rack like this. As long as I don't put anything too crazy on it, it should be fine. The pedals the bike comes with are kind of cool. They fold in like this, so you can then store it better. But we don't do kind of cool around here, we do cool. So stuff these ones, we're gonna use these instead, which are cool, because they're loop proof and they're my favorite pedal and they're great and I had them spare, so they can go on this. Last thing was to pump up the chunker tires, big chunkers, and uh, that was it, all built. So first impressions, I actually kind of like it. It's the weirdest looking bike I've ever owned and it certainly feels weird when you're riding it. It's very different. Anybody who's ridden a folding bike before, it's the same as that, but just bulkier. Um, the actual build of this bike was dead easy. I don't think it would take anybody any special skills to be able to build it. It's quite well built um, and uh, yeah. So far, I, I, I am kind of impressed. I'm gonna ride this for a while. Um, actually, at the point of recording this, I have been riding it for a week. Um, but I'm gonna tell you more about that in the next video. All right then, that's the end of part one. Um, this was just kind of more of the build and kind of like the first impressions. And like I said, I'm kind of impressed. It's the dorkiest looking bike I've ever looked at. Um, but uh, it's fun. But uh, that's as much as I'm going to talk about this week, or at least in this video. Um, I'm actually going to bring part two out in a few days, so it's not going to be too long. Um, so make sure you've subscribed. Um, the next video is going to be a lot more kind of structured and kind of like more of the review. This is the impressions. This is just the unboxing and building. Um, but uh, if you like this kind of content, um, maybe there's going to be more in the future. But if you're into kind of retro bikes, like that bad boy there, that's what we usually do around here. So. Um, Make sure you subscribe, comment below, uh, and let me know what you think. 
if this is a bike that you're interested in, I actually have a link below so you can check it out. I'm going to talk about it in a bit more details in the next video. So if you haven't made up your mind yet, uh, wait till that one. And yeah, see you in a few days.